All right, everyone. I don't really know where this rant's going to go. I have an idea of what I want to say. And I'm not trying to offend anyone. It's just trying to get all y'all motivated. And get everyone realizing that if you have a creative side... First, actually, let me say this. We all have artificial stuff. Even me. I have artificial stuff in my aquarium. But guys, like, that shit costs so much money. You go to PetSmart, and it's like, or Petco, any of the stores, go online. You look at that stuff, it's just resin. Resin molds. Mass-produced resin molds. That you're paying heaps of money for. Like, for what we're going to wind up producing on the star foam that I'm showing you in my series. Like, that would cost, I don't even know how much money. God, that would be like... Mm, let's just say that would be a $40 to $30 ornament. And I spent $10. And it's mine and no one else has it. And that's what I want y'all also to realize is y'all all can make your own masterpieces. No one else will ever have anything like what you will create. You just have to take your time and really think it out before you start. And just take your time all in all. And it shows and you'll feel so rewarded. But this stuff right here I spent $54 on. These bags and the tubes of silicone. So for $54, I just want to say I'm going to be able to... I think I'm going to wind up scaping a 40. I bought a 40 gallon today. I'm going to be able to scape a 40 and make it look balling with just that rock and that stuff I made in the other video. And I'm going to be able to make probably, God, eight more scapes just from these four bags. Sure, I'll need more silicone, but y'all feel me though? Like, how much money would, be, would we be spending on just artificial shit that's mass produced? And once again, hear me out. I have artificial stuff in my aquarium, so I'm not ragging on anyone. This is just an eye opener. Like, God, save yourself some money and just spend the time with your family or kids and make your own masterpieces. Like, that's where this is trying to go. So, if y'all like this rant, y'all let me know. You know, and, and like Deb, Deb was right. She said each scape, it's like a fingerprint. Each one is going to be different. No matter what you do, it will be different. Even if I try and make an identical piece that looks similar there will be differences so you all please stay tuned and please share this because I, my channel I can only extend so much to everyone y'all please share what I'm trying to do and we're gonna go hard this Friday y'all stay tuned I'll be releasing the next great video and we'll be producing the shelf for this stuff that I made alright but I hope y'all heard me out you know, and save yourself $200 or $500, however much you're thinking about spending on a 3D background. And consider this. Just give me a, a few more, you know, give me another month. I'll be able to whip out some stuff. I got a 40 gallon, and we're going to be doing some stuff to it. I'm really contemplating finishing it out with this rock or doing the lava. Either or, it'll look awesome. Y'all let me know about that. I'd like to know all of y'all's thoughts. But y'all take care, and I hope y'all enjoyed this ramble and rant. But let's all save some money and make some badass shit. We don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on artificial shit. We can make our own masterpieces. And I want all y'all to try. You just gotta make sure that you have the silicone one with none of the mold inhibitors. That's the key. And just this right here, if you got some money. This is some red jade. This, this stuff's going to look so pretty whenever I make something out of it. I bought it on eBay. Yeah, man. I mean, the possibilities are en endless, y'all. And I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know if you want some more rants, because I come up with them often in my head. <laughs> y'all take care and have a great week. I'll see y'all Friday.